Hey guys, welcome to this video. Today, I am going to talk about the effects of music on memories and other cognitive capabilities of patients with Alzheimer's disease. Let's check it out. This brain imaging study showed that the caudal anterior cingulate and the ventral pre-supplementary motor area play crucial roles in the neural encoding of long-known music. This image showed the brain regions that have greater activation to the familiar music. Interestingly, they corresponded to areas last to degenerate during Alzheimer's disease. Although amyloid beta existed, which suggested the very early age of biomarker development of Alzheimer's disease, no significant glucose hypometabolism as well as cortical atrophy was observed in this region. These findings contributed to the possible explanation that the relatively spared ventral pre-SMA and caudal anterior cingulate gyrus are fundamental to the musical memory surviving in the predations of dementia. This paper commented on the aforementioned studies. Due to the quotidian feature, multidimensional components, and its nature that can conjure surrogate emotions, music could potentially assist in providing logical models that will allow diseases effects to be understood and anticipated at the level of the whole brain this study identified the sma as a region associated with selective activation of more familiar musical stimuli additionally the utilization of individuals favorite music selections was found to promote improved sensory and attention and increase functional connectivity in the cortica cortical and corticoche rebellar networks of the brain Regarding the functions of SMA, this systematic meta-analysis reviewed to investigate SMA and neural correlates of familiar and unfamiliar music. Listening the SMA plays a key role mentally singing along with the familiar songs. It contribute to anticipation of melodic, harmonic progressions, rhythms, timbres, and lyric events in the familiar songs. Whether familiar music can be an effective therapy for patients with Alzheimer's disease? Researchers conducted a music stimulation program, which was carried out in three sessions per week with every session containing about two to four minutes. The total musical intervention phase was three months or 36 sessions, and 40 participants were divided into experimental and control groups. At the baseline, both AD groups showed a similar profile of self-consciousness. However three months later, the experimental AD group improved significantly in multi-aspects of self-consciousness evaluated by the self-consciousness questionnaire. The control group who received unfamiliar songs presented deterioration of most of the self-consciousness dimensions. In this form, we can see that there was a general deterioration of self-consciousness in the AD patients listening to unfamiliar music. They became more confused of their own identity unaware of their own health condition, and perplexed about their future life. The results suggested that, familiar songs could be viewed as an enhancer of self-consciousness in AD. Because self-consciousness requires a convergence of neural networks, and the familiarity and predictability of music can possibility deliver perceptual cues to encompass complex neural networks and even increase AD patient social interactions. In conclusion, Familiarity with music can allow AD patients to retrieve their memory of self and strengthen their sense of presence. If we understand more subtle and least tractable effects of Alzheimer's disease, its conundrum may finally be solved. Music may be a means to achieving this end.